as the Texas Longhorns rank 19th in the country take on the Brigham Young University Cougars from Cougar Stadium in Provo, Utah. For Brigham Young University, that's a change from last week. A squid kick and picked up by number 23, Chris Samuels right there. Samuels gets it across the 27-yard line. Shannon Kelly's a quarterback, a 50-year senior for the University of Texas. The running backs, Patrick Wilson, taking the place of, of course, Metcalf and Darren Norris. The receivers, Tony Jones, watch him, and Johnny Walker, number one. Alan Champagne's the center. We are set to go first and ten out of the I formation for the University of Texas. And they give it to the youngster. Dwayne Miller, Omar Saleh, the offensive guard for the University of Texas. The tackles, Chad McMillan and Stan Thomas. And the tight end is Stephen Clark. And you got to out of bounds. Second down and one. They're in that flex offense right now. Kelly throwing far side, and he's got Johnny Walker. Walker across the 45 to the 46-yard line. And for BYU defensively, Tim Knight, the nose guard out of Burley, Idaho. In their set, defensive tackles, P. Harston and Tim Clark. The backers, Bob Davis and Regan Hansen. And then on the outside for BYU, Dwayne Johnson and Chad Robinson. The secondary looks like this. Rodney Rice, six interceptions a year ago, and Eric Bergson in the corners. And then the safeties, Troy Long and Scott Peterson at 6'5 and 235. As the University of Texas now with a first and ten from the 46-yard line. Wilson. He gets it up to about the 48-yard line. Second down and seven. In motion is Clark to the near side. And they'll throw it out to Tony Jones. Watch him go. Jones at the 40-yard line is knocked out of bounds by Rodney Rice. 242 yards in receptions. First down and 10. Ball at the 40-yard line. He'll get it to number 39. One more time. That's Patrick Wilson. But Tim Clark in battle is the man who now is on the near side. That was Wilson in motion. And a delay play. A penalty marker is down. Illegal motion on the offense. Penalty is declined. Walker split to the near side right now. It's a first third down. It's third and 14. And Kelly's got his man. That is number one, Johnny Walker. Rodney Rice was back on the coverage. Kelly, three of three for 38 yards. Kerry Cash has checked into the game. He's number 19. That's a fumble by the freshman. He picks it up, and he falls on it at the 35-yard line. Comes split to the near side. Cash in that slot position. Kelly will throw downfield to Walker. The pass is incomplete at the 22-yard line. But Walker, number one, comes to the near side. And that's 39. Wilson in motion. Kelly finally heaves it downfield, but neither of the players downfield. Out there as he's holding, defensive holder, but I a lineman was downfield. Clements from the 41-yard line make it a 51-yard attempt, and last year he was 2 of 2 from 50 yards out. Handler can't handle the snap, and Clements is tossed down at the 45-yard line. Bob Davis, the middle linebacker, was the man in there. Have a dead ball, delay of game penalty before the snap, on the offense, fourth down. Well, he's not barefooted right now, but he has put it that way before. Left-footed kicker. That's an end-over-end punt, and it's going to go right into the end zone. So, BYU will take it over. First and 10 from the 20, Sean Covey with a concussion last week will start at quarterback. In the backfield, Fred Whittingham and Matt Bellini. Wide receivers Chuck Cutler and Jeff Branson. The center is Phil Nawahi. The guards, Warren Wheat and Don Busenbach. And John Hunter and Brian White, the tackles. And the tight end is Darren Hanton. Bryce Doman, 83, was a late addition. He is starting with wide receiver. He is split to the near side with Cutler in the slot to the left on first and ten.
kick it off. He'll send it deeper this time as Texas had come up with a short kick through the end zone. First and 10 from the 20. Wilson was the man in motion to the near side, and they go outside right now, and that is Jones. They say he runs a 4-2-7 big time for their fans here at BYU. Right up the middle, that is Norris finally, number 34, the senior for second down and six. 10.55 to go first quarter. side and number one is Johnny Walker they say no he was out of bounds from BYU third down and six all day for Kelly he finally goes underneath but not enough for the first down at the 40 yard line waits beautiful high spiraling kick O'Brien inside the 10 gets one block but not enough and he said uh, we felt we were as prepared as we could be. I had not not as good a punt as before. After 33, O'Brien with a wall to the outside. O'Brien to the 45-yard line. Texas has run 14 plays. BYU just won, but that was the 80-yard touchdown pass. Out of the shotgun right now, Sean Covey. Penalty markers down as the man that was wide open. Let's take a look at the University of Texas defense right now. Up front, Mark Steed and Oscar Giles. Watch 95. He's big and strong and fast. Steve Llewellyn and 6'10", Ken Hackamack on the inside. The backers for Texas, All-American candidate Britt Hager. On the outside, Bobby Rhodes and Dwayne Duncan. Fred Stromile, Mark Berry, the corners and the safeties, Paul Bierman and Stanley Richard, and that's a young group in the secondary league. And once again, a penalty marker goes down at the 39-yard line. Play action, that's 83 Garmin again. Mark Berry, the freshman redshirt, at turnovers. That was not a good situation for Brigham Young University. As 88 Hamley comes in motion to the near side, Matt Bellini gets little or nothing on third down. That's going to be very close. Situation now. The chain is out. He got enough. But it wasn't as pretty as this one. So he put a pretty helmet on and got knocked out. Leo's got the ugly one back on this big. Franson was in motion to the near side on first and ten. All day for Covey. He's got Franson deep. At the 11 yard line. Particularly good game last week. First and ten, pitch back to Bellini. He is nailed over there at the 14-yard line. Perfect. Look at this. Look at this. Second down and 12. Covey, penalty flags down, and the pass is thrown out of bounds. It looked like Cutler. On the offense. Penalty is declined. Penalty. What was the name of that? Tyler Anderson, number four, is split to the near side. deflected at the line of scrimmage. It looked like Mark Steed, 87. He had one attempt last week in Wyoming and didn't make it. But he made that one. So Kaufman, who inherited the job from Jason Chavitz, after Chavitz missed a couple last week in Wyoming, has gotten BYU out to a 10-0 lead over Texas. Okay. First and ten. 
Pitch back to Wilson. He drives ahead up to the 40-yard line. Rice nails him. Second down and two Texas out of the flex. Quick drop for Kelly. Oh, nearly a terrific grab by Johnny Walker. But they told us yesterday if it's third down and short, watch for the option or go over the right side. Morris gets it, and he gets stacked up. He doesn't get the first down. Bob Davis, 36. The kick it for the University of Texas is third punt. And O'Brien back to receive it. End over end punt, but O'Brien runs out of bounds at the 14-yard line at first and 10 now. 6.06 to go, first quarter. Covey out of the shotgun. Down the middle, nearly intercepted. The pass intended for Travis McBeth. Second and ten. Brigham Young University with just over six minutes to go. First quarter, they lead it ten to nothing. Whittingham is 33, and he's across the 20 to the 24-yard line and close to a first down. At the 24-yard line, Sean Covey, three of seven, 129 yards, and of course that 80-yard touchdown pass out of the shotgun tonight. And they hand it off to Whittingham. Penalty marker is down at the 25-yard line. Holding on the offense, still first down. On first and 20, with just over five minutes to play first quarter. Covey's going to come out of the pocket. He's throwing downfield intended for his tight end, Darren Handley. The tight end, Macbeth, came out as Bellini now goes in motion. They flushed him out of the pocket again, and he's got Cutler over on the far side. At the 27-yard line, Fred Stromile, third down and eight for BYU. That pass deflected inside, still bouncing around. And back to punt is Pat Thompson from his 13-yard line. Willie Mack Garza, the freshman, takes it at the 25. Still on his feet, spins around, gets up to the 30. David McWilliams said he was going to close his eyes on his first punt return. Of Give us a holding by the offense while the kick's in the air. 15-yard penalty, still fourth down. Two-yard line. And he picks a bad snap, but now he's going to run with it. No, he's going to punt it. And it runs out at about the 32-yard line. No flags, a little indecision, first and ten. The ball's at the 32-yard line. Shannon Kelly going downfield, and he's got Tony Jones. Jones is knocked out of bounds. Jones, three receptions, 46 yards, first and ten now, with 3.30 left to go, first quarter, and they'll give it to Wilson. Speed to the outside, and Wilson inside the 40, down to the 36-yard line. They never watch the game when they're on the sideline. Now, Wilson's a man in motion. They come to the near side, and Jones smothers it up, and they said, no, he dropped the football. Second and 10. Near side, Jones again, and I think Kelly has found a favorite target. Rodney Rice has Craig Patterson and Fred Orr in there defensively now. Third and short, Kelly dives over the line, and that's going to be very close. Bob Davis, the 235 left to go, and that's Wilson in motion. He's going to Jones, nearly intercepted by Rodney Rice. As Johnny Walker splits out to the far side on second and ten. Wilson in motion. And they'll get it to Morris right up the gut. And he gets little or nothing. First quarter. Walker split to the near side. Clark, the tight end, is out at the top of your screen along with Tony Jones. Kelly. Thinking about throwing it away. Finally found Clark, but it was broken up by the safety. 41-yard field goal attempt for Wayne Clements. From Tulane and had an outstanding season a year ago when he made 16 of 22. That's very, very high, and it's right on the mark. So Texas finally on the scoreboard with a 41 yard field. The man on the special teams for the University of Texas came down to make the tackles. To keep that young man healthy. Cutler comes to the near side. Doman is split out to the far side on first and 10 with 90 seconds to go, first quarter. Oh, Covey got nailed there, but he completes it to Bellini. Bellini finally thrown out at the 31-yard line. Second down and one now. As 
as Hanley comes in motion to the near side. With less than a minute to go, first quarter. And Hanley makes the reception and gets across the 35 to the 37 on first and 10. With the clock down to 23 seconds to go, first quarter. And the handoff to Salido across the 40 to the 42-yard line. And we've completed the first 15 minutes from Provo, Utah. And Brigham Young University leads at 10 to second quarter. Second and five from the 41-yard line. Handley in motion to the near side, and they'll give it to Bellini. Bellini to the 47-yard line, loses the football. As Covey will go out of the shotgun. Cutler now goes in motion to the far side. And Covey's coming to Cutler. He's got it at the 30. Good step. Inside the 10. Touchdown, BYU.
receiver was Kerry Cash, number 19, and played field position football. Third down and 12. Kelly's got a scramble with it. He's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line where Tim Knight, 52 yards, and he's done that twice. So obviously the Texas coaching staff with a lot of confidence in him, out of the hold of Mark Murdoch. That's got the distance. And it's good. I told you you should have kicked it. <laughs> Oh, we've seen a couple of big field goals here tonight. Murdoch into the win, 55 yards, and he's accounted for all of the University of Texas offense. Texas has it. As Clement sends it down to number three, that's Mikey Brooks, the junior from Fremont, California, and Brooks across the 20 to the 22-yard line because they'll just give up the body for the good old State University. They were always my favorites. Beth was the man in motion. This is O'Brien, and look at the speed by number 60, Britt Hager. Second down to 12, a loss of two on that last play as Covey goes back in the shotgun. He's got four receivers to the far side of the field. And trying to throw a fly pattern to number eight, Matt Bellini, and third and 12. He's got Salito back there with him. And consequently, he uh, a couple times forgot the snap count. Second down at 24 for Leamy, up to the 29-yard line. Britt Hager are more significant than what you think of in a BYU quarterback. As Fellini's in motion to the far side. They go down the middle to Doman, intercepted. Stanley Richards. Inside the 35 to the 34-yard line, and Sean Covey makes the tackle. Texas and Shannon Kelly going to Jones. Look at the leap. Jump just a little bit early. Didn't quite time it that time for the season. Second and 10. Balls at the 33-yard line. They give it to Wilson. He's got a big hole inside the 30 to the 25. Scott Peterson makes the tackle, and Patterson have checked into the game now on third and one, and Kelly with the option down the line, and he gets the first down at the 23-yard line. First and 10 from the 23-yard line. Wilson with it again. He's got one block. Wilson inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. Second and two from the 15. A real good job by Shannon Kelly that time, folks. Third down and two. And that time they gave it to Norris. And he has the first down. 19, Kerry Cash is in the slot to the right. But they're going for Jones. Look at this catch. No, they said he was out of bounds. Can he get up in the air for a little man? Shannon Kelly, two of seven passing in this quarter as Jones is split to the near side on second and ten. Drop play. Doesn't get anything. Wilson is brought down to a in the corner. Watch number four, Jones. Incomplete. Eric Bergeson, 28-yard field goal attempt by Wayne Clements. Somebody got a piece of it. And it's no good. So Clements, who have kicked a couple of field goals already at 41 and 55 yards. Salido and Hager meets him at the 21. Loose football. They're going to say, no, he was down. A lot of pressure on Covey that time. Dwayne Duncan, the third and nine. Two of six in third down situation so far as Bellini comes in motion to the near side. Covey, Bellini at the 46-yard line. Right-handed quarterback, and BYU is going to his right most of the time. First and ten. Down the middle, pass 
intended for the tight end, Darren Handley, faced with a second and ten. Bryce Doman, Chuck Cutler, wide receivers. 350, left to go, and that's it. 95, Oscar Giles from Palacios, Texas. Time for the University of Texas. And third and 21 now for BYU at their own 34. Cubby's got his tight end, Hanley, and penalty markers down as Hanley gets to the 31-yard line. Illegal man downfield, third down in a cab line. It's third and 26 with just over three minutes to go. Cubby, a lot of trouble again. Hard line. Last year averaged over 43 yards a kick, and he gets a beautiful spiral off there. And this is the youngster, number 17, Willie really Mac Garza. He's got one man at the outside. He's buying. Garza across midfield. Willie really Mac Garza. A penalty marker is down, but he's going to go all the way. 49 yards on the touchdown by the freshman. Another get the right ruling. Personal foul is going to is going to be against Texas. And now for Texas is Chris Samuels to uh, help on the punt return. And uh, at the 35, fumble by Willie Mac Garza, and BYU comes up with it, and what a turnaround. Errol Ferguson, number seven, with 156 left to go in the half. Bellini, Hager hitting first. BYU with just one timeout left. It's a Cougar Stadium. And Texas, though, playing much better football in the second quarter. And Kelly will just fall on it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. 55 B. Harston came in and, and knocked one of Kelly's so-called protectors right over on top. Across the 40 to the 44, where Britt Hager, the middle linebacker, makes the tackle. Travis McBeth, 89, will be the tight end. With Salito in motion to the far side. And the sneak by Covey right up the middle, and he's got the first down. And that's the snap, and that's the go, and that's why you get a quick start as Macbeth comes to the middle. On the near side, and Bellini trying to turn it up, and he can't get anything. It's Ken Hackamack, six, second and 12 now for BYU. to go third quarter Cutler splits to the near side on Dwyer. Because what they have in, excuse me. You don't have much work on the ground for BYU as you saw that statistic. Ten, and there's a movement by the left guard right. First and ten as they exchange five yard penalties. That's Macbeth in motion. And here comes Salido up the middle. And he is tackled by yeah, Britt Hager. Cutty checking off at the line of scrimmage again. Quick out. Got his tight end, but not for much. Maybe about a three-yard pickup. Third down and four for BYU. Chubby barking out signals from behind the dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Still third down. <laughs> third down and nine. Eighth play of this drive for BYU. Chubby with all day, and he's got Cutler wide open and overthrows him. 44, Fred Stromile, 48-yard line. He's had two punches.
runs for 44 yards tonight. He angles that to the near side corner, and he's not able to get it there. Boy, that's a real art form, the return for the touchdown, and they missed that short 28-yarder. It was partially blocked on first and 10 from the 20. Shannon Kelly holds on to it a little bit too long, finally gets rid of it. Second and 10, 10.41 left to go. Third quarter, BYU leads it 20-6. to six. Draw play up the middle, tries to turn it to the outside, and that is a number 30, Brian Mitchell, is checked in defensively. Third down and 14. And they hand it off on that little inside move to Norris. He doesn't get the first down. Up to the 28-yard line. Last year, his long punt, 64 yards against the University of Houston. And this one end over end. It's going to send Rice back. And what a great bounce for Texas. They'll let it roll down to the six-yard line. So, cute. First and ten, BYU. Covey from his goal line. Going deep to Dolman at the 45 and just overthrown a second down and ten from the six-yard line for BYU. Nearly picked off. 22. Much pressure on him. Third down and ten. Nine minutes left to go, third quarter. Covey checking off at the line of scrimmage. Going far side to Cutler, and he can't get it. This is Willie Mack Garza. Right at midfield. Beautiful high spiraling punt. And taken there by Samuels, 23. He's got some room to the outside. Chris Samuels inside the 30. Still going. One man left, and he pulls him down at the 12-yard line. Battle with Hodgkin's disease this last year. Had surgery on two different occasions and has come back to play football. As Texas hands it off right up the middle, Darren Norris, Jones to the top of your screen, out of the eye there right now. Second down and nine. Kelly's got a man open and the reception by number 19, Kerry Cash. 23, Chris Samuels is the up back with Norris, 34, right behind him. A mix-up and Kelly's got to eat it. 44, Clark came in. Down in here, they like the option play on the goal line. Second and seven. Battle split out to the far side. And they'll hand it off to Norris. And he's tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Regan Hansen, number 50. 6.30 to the third quarter. Walker split to the near side. Jones at the top of your screen. And they'll run it again. Inside the five, down to the three is Norris. Sometimes that's consistent when a, when a kick is blocked. Is that really the kicker's fault? That's a whole other story, but that's the way it goes in the stats. 20 yards, field goal attempt. And it's no good. And a penalty marker is thrown now because Clements is on the seat of his pants. One of the most dangerous positions to be in football is right there where you got your leg up, and it doesn't make any difference. If it's a power left, it could be a fake inside run the option. Kelly's got a man wide open. He underthrows it. It's incomplete, nearly intercepted. Stephen Clark, 82, was wide open. And they're saying he didn't gain anything that time. As he'll hand it off to Salido, who gets it across the five, out to the seven-yard line. Yeah, on the interception and return for a touchdown by Rodney Rice. We have a dead ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. Penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Is that the on to attempt the point after? That's good. So with 2.16 left to go in the third quarter, BYU leads Texas 27-6. 69-yard return for the touchdown, the second touchdown of Rodney Rice's career. At the 15, that's Willie Matt Garza. And he's tripped up at the 35-yard line. This is the most difficult pass in college football or any football. When you're on a hash mark and you try to throw a quick out, forget it. you got to be the greatest passer in the history of football. That's a very difficult play to throw. Rice got a good jump on it, number 31. Excellent play. It helps you when you right. step on the receiver's foot. That helps a lot, too. Mix-up in the backfield between Kelly and Norris and 55, Pete Harston. Get a good jump on this one. Face pass by against the defense. 7 to 6 BYU leads Texas. Shannon Kelly trying to find Jones.
Jones at the 40, and he overthrows him. He's missing that big play player, Eric Metcalf, on second and five. Norris up to the 45-yard line, third and two. That's Samuels up behind the quarterback. Pitch back to Norris. Can he get outside? He's got some room. Norris inside the 45 to the 42-yard line. Scott with 42 seconds left to go. Patrick Wilson is checked back into the game for the University of Texas. They hand it off to Samuels. And some quick feet right there by Chris Samuels. And that'll end the third quarter of play for Northwood. Fourth down and three. Kelly's hit from behind. Chad Robinson is the man that sacks him at the 40.
the 27-yard line. Sean Covey still in at quarterback. And still looking for more. The bootleg and Covey out at the 20-yard line. The tackle may should have got a bounce before the guy hit him. First down. Whittingham. Touchdown.
this should be on the first team. Well, they kill you. They don't get to play that oh. much. They kill you. Isn't that what you said about uh, going on, on the road oh, yeah. and okay. getting beat by somebody? Well, that's one thing I've learned. disappointing aspects beat a good Pittsburgh team in the blue bottom. Texas will not quit. Murdoch trying to pass the ball finally does and it's complete. And that's Williams to the outside. He's out of bounds at the 31 yard line. 413. Left to go. Murdoch. Downfield, and there's number four, Tony Jones, and uh, said he brought him back from adversity last year against Auburn and won a great bowl game. Came in second in the Southwest Conference. You know, the only thing he'll do differently is BYU at the upper hand. Second down and ten. Murdoch rolling out to the near side. Doesn't fake out too many people, including number 41, Mark Neal, who's not going to lost him. Third down and seven. Kirk Davis picks it off. The senior from San Jose has is, is got to try to do something to salvage some of their Texas pride. If nothing else, they can't quit. And they won't because Texas... Right up the middle. And will continue to win. Third down and two. Number 26 for BYU. <laughs> Willie Mac Garza will let it go. Look at the bounce. And everything is going right for BYU. Everything. And Texas at the two-yard line. And one of the sports centers coming up next. All the scores and the highlight. This is a pass. This will be the last play of the game. As Williams is tackled. Defense and BYU did what they should have been doing in the first game. Throw the ball. Have some fun. That's their style. Final play right up the middle. And that'll do it. For the first time in their history, the University of Texas has lost three consecutive openers. Seven, the sixth victory.